Aces High Offline Mission Editor Tutorial Part 8 Changing a Route by Moving Waypoints At this point, you've got all the basics down. You can do a lot of very simple things and, uh, and combining those simple things you can have a lot of fun with, uh, with making your own missions by modifying the missions I've already got um, in simple ways. Uh, let's do something a little more sophisticated this time. Here's our mission editor the top-down view on our mission as we saw it. Suppose that for one reason or another we want to move this route right here. Suppose, for example, that after leaving the combat area I decide I want to make my P-51s fly farther north. This is not difficult to do, but there are some ramifications you need to think about. Let's begin by selecting that bishop's mission, or bishop's route, uh, just to filter things, let's get rid of the knight's routes. I'm going to click View, and we'll select only the bishop's routes. And um, that makes our view a little bit cleaner. Let's expand the route so we can see the individual waypoints. And if I click on one of them, I can see that must be waypoint 10 right there. This would be waypoint 11. Let's take the end of waypoint 10 and the beginning of waypoint 11 and let's just presume that we want to move it farther north just for the heck of it. I'm going to click, right click on the route name right click and one of the options here says move waypoints. If I left click on move waypoints took a while for that to register but it says now click and drag waypoint. So now I'm going to just click in the area where these two come together, I want to move it, and let's just drag it off this way. I could do that with let's do another one, with another waypoint. So I've, I've, I've moved two waypoints. I could do that with as many of them as I, as I want. And I can now click OK. So now we moved waypoint 10 and waypoint 11. I should save my work, file, save, but we're not really done. Because I moved this waypoint, now the airplanes fly a different uh, distance. It's, take them, it's going to take them longer to complete this segment. I better take a look at this attack segment here. Right click segment properties. Um, it's long. It's, it's farther than it was before, and this this segment here is also farther than it was before. That means I might need to recalculate some things. Watch what happens when I click calculate and pay attention to this duration. The duration now says one minute fifty nine point one seconds. If I click calculate, fill to segment, calculate. Okay. It didn't change, and that's a good sign. That means that the uh, mission editor uh, appropriately recalculated this distance. And so I can click OK. Sometimes that doesn't work right. And so I'm going to do the same thing with the next segment down. This segment 11 we also modified. I'm going to right click on its attack segment properties. And again, click Calculate and see if it, if it has already recalculated all of the things that might have changed. Let's look at the duration and length. With calculate, fill segment, calculate, fill segment to end. Even if I click this several times, they're not changing. So that's a good sign. That that means that uh, it seems that it kept up with this. Um, maybe I'm superstitious, but every time I make a change like this, I like to take a look at those calculations and make sure they're stable. Sometimes, and I'm not quite sure what the pattern is, but sometimes when I've done this, I found the numbers jump all over the place until you hit calculate and fill to end, fill segment to end. Let's talk about that. Um, this segment right here, segment properties the calculate button is obvious. It determines, um, it calculates how long it takes the airplane you've chosen to fly at the speed you've chosen for the distance necessary. And that's what that is. Um, fill segment to end. I'm not real clear on what this does, but I know there are times when um, when your airplane can't make the maneuver or can't complete the segment in the, in, the, in the necessary time when you have to click fill segment to end where it'll it'll uh, take a little extra time or speed up or make some kind of an adjustment to complete the uh, complete the segment and get as close as it can to back on the schedule. 
So sometimes you have to click fill segment to end and calculate. And when you do that, if you see these numbers changing, just keep repeating that until they stop changing. I don't really understand all the details of what's going on there, but I l I've learned from experience that it's helpful to do that, and I always do. I'm going to click OK. If I had any suspicion that this segment here or this segment here, those adjacent, the changes I made, might have been affected, I'd also go to them and look at their segment properties and calculate and fill to end. But since everything has been absolutely stable and nothing's recalculated, I'm not going to worry about that. Just for good measure, I'm going to hit File Save to save my work. And um, well, that's how we do that. I could run the mission again, but I think you've, you've seen that in the last segment. That is how we can move segments around to change a route.